feels great, you know. Now finally, uh, after so long of, you know, because I, I knew when I was a little kid that I was going to have to be a fighter or, or be a martial artist. and Have to. Yeah, I mean, have to, really. As much as your my dad, like, wants to make it feel like he, he didn't put pressure on me and, and you know, he did. You know, he, he, people <laughs> say he, he, he teaches invisible jiu-jitsu. Well, I'll talk about invisible pressure. <laughs> Hi, this is Shadi, and today I want to discuss Crone Gracie and try to see it from a very rare perspective, not just Crone as a fighter or the son of Hickson or the grandson of Elio Gracie. Now, I've done several videos uh, about the Gracie family. Uh, I try to be as objective as possible try to see things for whatever they are. For example, I've talked about, um, you know, being over credited for what they have done for ground grappling and talked about the history of judo and ground grappling and all these Japanese figures that uh, contributed to ground grappling way before the Gracies. And it's actually how my channel even started. So, and also talked about the Rufino Dos Santos incident uh, where the Gracies ambushed a catch wrestler and ended his career due to a devastating injury but also I've talked good I've credited uh, Hickson for his, the invisible jiu-jitsu and uh, what he has contributed you know dedicating his life for the basics and really honing them and becoming the genius that he is and also his MMA record uh, also I've talked about Helio um, being you know, special, even Horion and the UFC, all of it, I've credited it. So I try to be as objective as possible, seeing the negative and the positive. But today I want to talk about uh, growing up in this family, growing up in the realm of, you know, my ancestors are all just straight up fighters and assassins, and therefore I have to be the same um, he talks about the pressure being uh, put by his father etc and i can relate i grew up poor i grew up uh you know basically was nothing uh, by a single mother etc i think i've talked about this but there was always and constant pressure that you know because you have nothing all you have is your education and you know, uh, the higher education you get, you know, uh, the more successful you'll be. And because you need to grow out of your poverty and because that's all you have right now is your poverty. And I was pressured to study and excel in the academics all my life. If I mentioned anything like, you know, I want to be an artist. No, forget about it. If I want to become a musician, forget about it. If I want to do martial arts, forget about it. You know, you either have to become like a lawyer, a, a a medical doctor, an engineer, blah, blah, blah. Hence, I became an architect. But I chose architecture and not engineering uh, because there is some art to it. Uh, but because basically I was, this was the first act of rebellion that I did against family pressure. Uh, it was choosing something that has some art in it. And because of architecture, I was able to become painter, um, author, etc. Um, and which brings me back to Crone is that we escape our daily lives. You know, maybe you are a family man, you're an employee, uh, you're a student. We escape by going on the mat. You know, when we're on the mat, nothing else matters, etc., uh, etc. Et but for Crone, for Crone, getting on the mat was the beginning of the pressure. And he talked about this, you know, his uh, brother passed away, his father putting pressure on him constantly. You know, the name himself, itself, Gracie, puts alone a lot of pressure. But And he didn't want to do it. I bet he would have been a great professional skateboarder or something else. But regardless, he did it. He has an MMA record of five wins over six. And that one loss was the recent loss. And it was by decision. So not even... Uh, a knockout or a submission and winning five matches by submission which is amazing and also you have his world record 
World Championships, the ADCC, Metamoris. He has done great things in Jiu Jitsu, uh, despite the pressure, despite, you know, maybe feeling like he doesn't want to do it. Uh, you know, recently I've earned an extra uh, degree, which is architecture management in order to have, uh, my own business or legally have my own business here in France and also subscribe to the union. Um, but I got it in October, but, uh, all summer long, I was contemplating sending my professor telling her that I don't want to continue my, uh, thesis anymore. I'm not going to present in front of the jury, but you know, being who I am, uh, growing up to the idea that, you know, giving up is not an option. Regardless, I continued, but I did not want to do it, and I succeeded. Um, I feel that Krohn might have passed through this, that, you know, he doesn't give up. He's a warrior. Um, he doesn't want to do it. It was pressured, yet he goes out and does a brilliant job. Um, I have a bachelor, master's, and management degree. All of it, I did not want to do 100%, and... This shows a lot of things. First, that he has a lot of love and respect for his family. And also, he has a true samurai character that, you know, going all the way and not uh, giving up. And that's something I really respect. I try to see beyond the fighters, uh, not just their records and their medals, because that literally does not matter. Uh, I've talked about Kosei in a way being a samurai, not giving up uh, in the finals he tore his pec and continued uh, he carried his mother's picture on the podium when he won the olympics etc uh, etc et and crone i feel that the same way he doesn't give up uh, he honors he has family values like in a way he honors their uh, wishes but even though he doesn't want it but he goes all the way and does it till the end it reminds me a little bit about myself but I had a different life path it was in academic achievements and working as an architect so it's nice to shed some light about these little aspects of these warriors because they're not their medals or their MMA records they are people they live their daily lives they have families etc uh, etc et um, I truly believe you know Krohn and Hickson probably are my favorite Gracie members because of what they do and how they think, etc. Um, this was a short video just trying to see through the Krohn character or Krohn Gracie the man, not the MMA fighter or the competitor. Uh, similar to, in a way, the samurai, what I did, uh, my last video. Um, this was Shadi and thank you for listening. Pressure was like my whole life when it's a little kid listening to my dad and the manipulation and the pressure, I got tricked into becoming a martial artist and fighting. It was like my brother passed away right at the time. And right before he passed away, he's like, go do jujitsu, do jujitsu and like pushing me. And then he passed away. So I'm like, fuck, I have the pressure now, not only on my brother, but on my father, I'm the only son. So I just went full force manipulated and I just went heads in and I liked it and I did it and I enjoyed it and it was like what it was but and then I got to a point where I realized I was killing myself trying to live up to my father's expectations and up to my brother's expectations which don't matter what matters is what how I feel how I feel I know my brother loves me I know my dad loves me and if they don't because I do or don't win then fuck them it doesn't matter but I know that doesn't matter because they love me no matter what you know my dead brother He's looking down on me no matter what I'm doing is good. My dad the same way. But I think that now, after competing my whole life, I get to a point with, with, with fighting that I'm like, I have no pressure, actually. Right now, I have the least pressure I ever had. That's why I feel like I don't have to fight. Because even though I, whatever happens may happen, but I don't feel like I have this pressure to represent because I'm already representing. I represented since the day I was born. I represent more than many in my generation. And... Now I'm like, man, I, if I'm going to do this fighting thing, I got to do it because I like to do it, because I enjoy it, because I feel something in my heart.